right, here we go. Is the best 99 dunk that I can make for you. This is just going to be an overall build. Something that you can run guard on. Something that you can do um, swing. Anything that you really need to do. This is just going to be a base build that um, I believe is the best build as far as doing everything that you need to do on the game. And I'll explain all the badge caps and everything as we go along. Tune in for me real quick. Look, so 99 dunk, we'll just start with that. Let me explain. 99 dunk, the only reason that it's it can be very worth it for just an average person playing the game is Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff is absolutely ridiculous. Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff is very comp. Uh, it's just, it is what it is. And that paired with Slithery, Hall of Fame Slithery, these two badges right here are probably the best finishing badges in the game. Um, obviously, Fearless Finisher and Posterizer can help a lot as well. If you're a small guard, Giant Slayer, um, if you want to get freaky, Acrobat. Acrobat on bronze, silver is efficient. Giant Slayer, if you're a small guard, um, it's really efficient bad. I mean, it works a lot. It's, it's, it's a very comp badge to use. But like I said, Slithery and Limitless Takeoff are the two most important badges single-handedly. You can have no Posterizer and get contact dunks at ease. Literally, I do it all the time on builds that I have, so just keep that in mind. Um, your 80 driving layup, kind of going backwards here, but your 80 driving layup, I'd say this is the best um, return for for um, the the caps in general because uh, an 80 just gives you opportunity to get so many different layup animations that are super sufficient. Uh, I'll give you guys a couple for ex for example. Uh, I would say John Wall, um, Zach Levine. Um, those are probably the two best layup packages, in my opinion. And the only reason I say that is in terms of Euro stepping, um, hop stepping, um, spin layups to spin dunks. They have some of the best animations and gathers in terms of what you want to use. Um, there's a few others that you can use, like Jelly and, and stuff like that, 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 that are very good. Um, it, and, and a lot of this game is based on how you want your guy to play, right? Like some people, they want to go to an 82. They want to get the John Morant layup package. I personally don't like it. The Euro steps are fantastic, but you can get this crazy ass 360 layup and it's just terrible you know what i'm saying it's, it's absolutely bad then explaining close shot close shot you can use at a 60 right here and be perfectly fine because in actuality you probably shouldn't be continuing like you know sit down there and mash it's it's not the best thing to do i do it personally because that's just who i am i'm a piece of shit what can i say right so look if you're gonna go for a mashing build 75 you see you get an extra badge here but 75 um, close shot gives you the opportunity to get silver fast twitch and if you are mashing silver fast twitch mixed with silver masher is absurd i'm telling you i'm telling you if you really want to get freaky you can go to an 85 for that gold fast twitch and most importantly at 84 you get the um you get the gold fearless finisher which is uh, another crazy one man i mean it's just a really good badge to have if you get taken out of a dunk it's going to allow you to finish it so you know it's one of those things that um it's all preference right so if we're going to go for a base a, a, a base build that anyone can use and be successful with this is what we're going to use here so you got a 75 standing dunk let me explain this so 75 standing dunk gives you some of the best standing dunk animations in the game but here's the thing only reason I go 75 specifically for this build is in terms of your finishing badges. So we've got a 75 standing dunk, but if you really want to get freaky, because this build is so good and you can add badges to your build, you know, if you've hit 40 over the over the prior seasons, a 70 dunk is very sufficient as well. Um, so in terms of just making the best build in general, I think we can go with 70 here. And this this right here is elite. Me personally, I go to 75. So, you know, maybe we'll make it like this because we're doing this all in one take. Fuck going back, and, you know, editing this shit. I ain't doing all that bullshit. Here we go. 83 three ball. Let me explain this. You can make it work with an 80, with a 70 something. Of course, if you're having 99 dunk, because at the end of the day, you're probably not going to be shooting a whole lot if you've got this build, right? But if you do want to be calm and you do want to shoot the ball at a high level still, especially with the right jumper, an 83 three ball is going to be your best friend. And one of the best jumpers that you can use for an um, 83 three ball is Tarian Prince. Put on Tarian Prince, your double Oscar, your Scotty Pippen, your Rudy Gay, whatever you want to have. You know what I'm saying? Um, this build right here 
with a mixture of a 99 dunk and an 83 three ball is such a threat. It's so hard to guard. If you learn how to do your walk backs, your snatch back cheese, your step back cheese, it becomes just very hard to guard, man. And that's just in general. You know what I'm saying? So just make sure you keep that in mind. The two bases that I would tell you to use is Tobias Harris and I would tell you to use Tarian Prince. Those are the two bases I would give you for a jump shot, okay? So look, here, if you look at this right here, you can get 18. I say personally for this build, a 71 mid-range is where you want to go with it because you get your 18 badges. And with 18 badges, you can manage to put on your Amped, you can manage to put on your Asian 3, your Green Machine, and you can have your Silver Blinders, and that's really all you need. If you want to get freaky and you're playing the top of the defense, you can put on your Catch and Shoot, core that, put on your Blinders, whatever. But Blinders is one of the best shooting badges in the game besides Asian 3. And you really don't need Green Machine, but in terms of finishing out your 10 badge points, I think Green Machine is going to be more bang for your buck. Um... Here you can just go to a 70. You, you really don't need it very high. I like running an 80 just because, um, you know, it's just who I am. You know, I can't explain much more than that. All right. So look here. Now, a lot of people will go to an 87 ball handle. Me personally, I don't do that. And reason being um, is because I am not clamp breaker made. Now, there's a lot of people in this community that are very clamp breaker made and good for them. You know, all kudos to them. I'm not hating. It's, you know, at the end of the day, do what you want to do. But if you want to just straight try to just bull rush people and get to the rim, this might be for you. Now, in terms of this build here, I'm going to give you um, my personal favorite. And that's an 85 because you get all the dribble animations that you need. Um, and of course, a 75. Don't go higher than this on this 69. This, this, this makes no sense, right? You're not going to notice the difference between 76 and a 75. So go to your 75 so you can get your Michael Jordan uh, dribble style because, you know what? 2K don't really care about us, and they decided to only give us Michael Jordan dribble style as a way to get the job done. And if you want to be a freak and use something else, by all means, have at it, right? Now, look, here we go. So if we're going with an all-around build, 75 for, for, for Park, for, for Rec, for Comp Pro-Am, you can get this done, right? Me personally, I think an 80 is very sufficient in terms of having Dimer, having the ability to have Silver Bailout. Um, those things are really good. If you don't care about that, 75 pass accuracy, and I'm going to make it like this for you guys just because this is what most people will probably end up doing. You know, So it, it is what it is. Now, here we go. So if we're going here, me personally... I do believe that an 83 speed is very, very worth it. But on this 6.9 build, you really don't need your shit all the way up. You can run an 80 and be able to get around everywhere you want. Now, the acceleration, I do say that uh, the higher acceleration, the, the more you're going to see it in terms of your player. It should be speed with ball that contributes to how fast you're running with the ball. You know, hence the whole speed with ball kind of, you know, deal there. Maybe they need to change that. Maybe it's a typo. I don't really know what's going the fuck on. But um, I keep clicking back. But go as high in your acceleration as possible, right? Go as high in your acceleration as possible, and you will love it, okay? So um, me personally, I say going to a 99 stamina is very, very worth it. You will feel the difference. Now, if you have the ability to have a ball handle that's a 94 and get your your um gold uh handles for days and your 6-1 do it but if you don't have that ability 99 standing um stamina is exactly what you want to do now if you want to get all your contacts and 80 gives you the off ones and uh 82 gets you the off um twos i believe it, either that's vice versa or which one i think that the 82 gives you the off one actually but you're going to want an 82 vertical just in terms of finishing your build and you know having everything um available to you you know at your disposal right so here let's talk about this it's controversial now if anyone watches me play they know that i get it done on a 78 steel that's just me not everyone's going to be able to do that you know and that's okay some people think they need the 85 for the extra little bs me, I don't think you do, okay? I think a 78 is perfect for bump steals, for lane steals, and that's what you should really be going for, right? The more skilled steals in the game in general. Put this down to, a, what is that, a 30? Yeah, 33. So uh, just so you know, steel is tied to your deep, to your uh, strength. So I like how they did that. That is a, that's a cool ad. Now here we go. So we can go to our perimeter defense. I do think an 86 is very worth it. You get your Hall of Fame workhorse. That makes your build very adequate in terms of guarding the perimeter. I think it's it's a good way to go. Um, 
and it's something that that a lot of people probably do have because it's kind of one of those base things, right? Like, unless you really want to get freaky and run a 79, I have a post-scoring build where I have a 79 perimeter defense, and that gets it done, baby. But, you know, everyone ain't like me, man. And I'm not saying better than everyone. I'm not going to have that mindset. But I do think that if uh, you trust yourself, you trust your team to make the rotations, this is a good route to go, okay? So let's go to a block, okay? Now look. A 75 block. This right here is going to make you a threat to chase your opponent down. It gives you a speed boost with that chase down artist on, and you will be able to block shit. You know, people go up in front of you. They're not just going to be going up and getting done with that. It's not happening, right? Um, the only reason that you're able to make this build so overall is because your pass accuracy isn't very high. If you have an 86 pass accuracy or an 80 pass accuracy, you aren't going to be able to make your build like this. And, and, and that's okay, right? Some people think they need to dot a little bit more, and I'm one of those guys, okay? But that's because I run PG. Now, this build is for, like I said, an overall 99 um, dunk 6-9 build. This is going to be your best option, probably, okay? And this is the last build that anyone needs to make on this game, okay? So look, hear me out. An 85 is very worth it. It's very worth it for your, for your defensive rebound. I think that this right here gives you um, just such a good help for your team, right? Like, your team's going to be able to rely on you to grab those boards. Silver Rebound Chaser will allow you to get offensive boards. You know, if you so happen to be mashing and you need to grab your board back, it's going to give you the opportunity. Some people might think they need their offensive board extremely high. I personally don't. If you want to get freaky and you want to run your, your shit like this or something like that or just go for your bronze um, Rebound Chaser, you know, you can. But I think for an overall build that anyone should be using, I do think an 85 is super, 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 super sufficient. Okay, so look, I think that this right here, and I, I would probably go to an 81 here, right? I, that, that, that's just me. Your perimeter defense is also tied to your strength too, so keep that in mind when you're making your badge caps, okay? So I personally think 81, 81. This is probably what I would go with. If you don't want to, you know, you could probably put this up a little bit more. Your tier defense isn't going to matter as much um, because this game's broken, and you're going to get dunked on regardless, okay? So go for smart blocks. Go for smart steals. Play good defense. Stay in front of your, your man, and everything will work out for you. And just put the rest to your free throw. So this right here, I believe, personally, is the best 99-6-9 build, okay? And... Uh, if you have played prior seasons and you've got your badge, um, up, you know, your extra badges, you're going to be able to place those exactly where you want them specifically. I'm not going to tell you where to place those because everyone's different, okay? Easy blow-bys. This is another good tip, okay? Easy blow-bys is one of the best slashing badges in the game. It's going to give you the opportunity to have your green window for contact dunks extraordinarily large, okay? So easy blow-bys is what you're going to want to use for this build unless you realize, hey, I've got a 99 dunk. I already know how to stick dunk, contact dunk. I'm just going to use sharp badge. This is a great idea, and I don't knock anyone for doing it. Some people might get weird and even use team ratings boosts or, you know, whatever the hell they want to use over here. Do it. Fuck yeah. I say do what the fuck you want. At the end of the day, this is your build. This is your money. This is your choice. Right? So do what you want. Um, so, so here we go. Just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to continue with this. So here we go. I'm guessing it's going to be an inside scorer. Two-way inside scorer or something like that. Let's see it. Inside-out score. Okay, this is pretty much what most people have. Because it's just, you know... <laughs> It is what it is, man. It's just what the game is. It's, it's it's slasher heavy, okay? This is an overall build, right? So if we're going in terms of this build, and we're going to put all this up, all this up, you've got the ability to put this on, core this. It's really easy to core your posterizer, okay? You're going to put on your slithery finisher. You're going to put on this. And whatever you want to do here, absolutely your choice. I don't care. It's your build, okay? So you choose what you want to do. In terms of just going past this, we're going to do this right here. Don't do this, okay? All right, so we got Sharp shooting. Let's go. Come on. Green Machine. And we only need one more, so we just put it on the Amped Bronze. Boom. Okay, we've got this open. Like I said, if you want to get freaky, and you can, you want to spend the time, core your catch and shoot, put on your blinders on, on silver, and you will notice the fucking difference. I promise you, you will. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help you a lot. And I would just put this on 
volume shooter or something like that, man. However you see fit. If you're cutting off ball, slippery off ball Hall of Fame, OD. Hold your nuts, press circle, or uh, whatever the fuck it is on, on Xbox B. Hold your nuts and let that shit go, and you will get a speed boost to hell out of the corner, too. That's just another tip for you guys. All right, so here we go. Needle Threader. Bronze. Here, look. I would run this bronze. And that's just me personally. If you're not running point guard or something like that, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? In terms of the video, because you will eventually have unpluckable cord on your gold, have your handles for days. Handles for days is a lot quicker to core, though, mind you. But unpluckable matters a whole lot. So it's all about how what you want to have cord faster. If you're playing my career to max this build out, Good luck, man. It's going to take a long-ass fucking time to be able to core your unpluckable because for some reason it doesn't register like it should. And that's just this game. Bronze Hyperdrive gives you one of the best boosts um, for just um, zero to having bronze. Um, it's just a really big boost there. If you can go gold, go gold. And for the sake of the video, I'm just going to go silver with Needle Threader because it does work. Okay? So here we go. And then I'm going to go with uh, Chase Down Gold. Boom. Boom. Okay, and from here you're gonna want to core. Um, you're gonna want to core that first. So I would probably just put this down to. Um, I would probably just throw on your glove because you're gonna want glove on, right? And put your rebound chaser to your silver. Core this. Put your anchor on, and then you got this deal again. So look, when you add badges, I would probably add some to your defense. Okay, and, uh, and whether you do double defense or whatever, add some to your defense. I'm the kind of guy that realizes I don't have to rely solely on defense to win a game. I know that I'm playing in a zone, um, and I'm I'm not worried about having to be an on-ball one-on-one defender when I'm running this build. Right, so have that in mind. Right, so. You're going to want this as high as you can get it. Like, the, the Silver Interceptor does work. It works tremendously well at that. But Workhorse is another thing you're going to want to have on. So me personally, I'm adding probably four to five badges onto here. Okay? And that's just me. Just for the sake of having Workhorse up and having your Chase Down Artist as high as it can go. Because it will make up for having the lack of, like, your Silver Anchor. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, definitely look for that. Jump Shot, like I said... Me personally, I believe that um, oh, he doesn't show on here, but Tobias Harris and Tarian Prince are the two jumpers that I would recommend for anybody. Okay, so this is my short build video. This is the first one I've done, so bear with me. This is no edits, just straight off the fucking brain. So work with your boy. God bless y'all. Like, comment, subscribe if you like the video, and I'm out.